Hello and a warm welcome to you. This is a request from my patron, Karen Atwood. It's Ukulele Lady, which is an old evergreen written by Gus Kahn and Richard A. Whiting. First released, 1925. Notable versions, Arlo Guthrie, Peter Sellers. My favorite is Bette Midler. Did you know Bette Midler was born in Honolulu? Back in 1945, at the end of World War II. Later in life, in 1997, she recorded a TV special called Diva Las Vegas, and she performed Ukulele Lady for the first time there. It's gone on to be recorded for one of her albums, and the production and the playing on that particular recording, so good. So today we're gonna to learn her arrangement, although instead of A, we're gonna be in the key of C. Of course. Okay, let's have a look at the chords. If you know them, please do skip ahead. So there's 13 chords in total, lucky for some. In the key of C, so we have a C chord. In the chorus, we're going to a C major seven, and then an A minor. So that's the chorus. Okay. And then the other chords we need are F, we have a D7, and you can play a D7 like this, and I probably do both in the take. And then we have this chord, which is an A flat 7. You will recognize, if I slide down and take my finger away, that it's a G7 shape, pushed up. So you could call it a G sharp 7, but that's not sort of correct. So I'm calling it an A flat seven. Now that is a really good move to have for these songs from the twenties, because if, when you're in the key of C, you'll be using that a lot, like Ain't She Sweet, for example. Okay, and then moving on, we have the E7. We've already talked about the A minor. There's an E minor. A B chord. We have a D minor seven, which is just like a D minor with a pinky on the C note on the bottom string. You could get away with playing just a D minor. And they're the chords. Oh, apart from this one, just the G major. Okay. The strumming pattern I'm predominantly using is what I call the Hawaiian strum. Let's play a C chord and we're going to go down, up, chuck. So the chuck, if you should know by now, but just in case, it's just muting the strings with the palm of your hand, your right hand or your strumming hand if you're a left-hander. So, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. That will get you through. That's the sound of Hawaii. Before we do the playthrough, I thought I'd show you each individual part because the arrangement of this song is quite unusual. You've got your intro, which actually starts on the four chord. And then goes to the C, then to the D7, and then you play C for eight whole bars while Bet makes some lovely noises and the slide guitar does some stuff as well. One, two, three, four, and now we're into the verse. I saw the splendor of the moonlight in Hano. One, two, three, four, one. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you repeat that again. And then we go to something that I'm calling the pre-chorus which is the A minor. And all the beaches are full of beaches. And we've got a E minor to B to E minor. And then back to the C, which is part of the pre-chorus. 
which goes and in the glimmer of the moonlight they love to sing d7 this song setting us up for the chorus which i talked about earlier c c major seven a minor back to c and again c major seven a minor back to c and then you have d minor seven to g7 alternating between the two chords and back to C then you start again D minor 7 to G7 and back to the C now, what do we call this part? It's kind of like you've done the chorus and now we're going to a new part. So I'm calling it a bridge because we're going to come back and play more of the chorus later. So for the bridge, we have the F and back to C, then D7 and then you've got the G to G7 and then you play another part of the chorus okay in Bet's arrangement there is a solo and that's unusual too because you come off the back of the chorus ukulele lady like you two three go solo so you have four bars of c one two then you do that change from the a sharp seven to the g7 so you've got four bars of c one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four, one, two, three, four. Then you get three bars of C. So that is weird, but it makes sense when you hear it with the solo. So all together, C two, three, four, C two, three, four, C two, three, four, C two. Now we do the change. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Then we do the change. To E7. Someday I'm going where something else happens there. So that's into the pre-chorus. And then we have a chorus and then we have another bridge. And then in the last chorus, we do something interesting again. This is great songwriting. You don't get people writing songs like this anymore. Every little section moves it forward and does something different. Hats off to you lovely men. So I love these lyrics. To sing to when it's cool and shady Where the tricky wicky wacky woo 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 If you like a ukulele lady Ukulele lady likes And then it does this new part You like me It's almost like it does a key change. I get stuck on that melody. I find it very hard to go from one to the other. I think I got it right in the take. You hitting a G note to sing. You like me like I like you. We like it both the same. And then you go to the G7 and there's a bit of stuff that goes on and you end up with the... I don't want to give it away, okay? If you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up, share me with your friends and leave me a comment below. <laughs> The song sheet for this lesson is available over at my Patreon page, patreon.com forward stroke uke mullum. Head over there and grab it now. If you can't afford to be my patron, I absolutely understand, but you can thank me for this video with a one-time donation on the super thanks button. One, two, three, four. I saw 
the splendor of the moonlight on Honolulu Bay. There's something tender in the moonlight on Honolulu Bay. And all the beaches are full with peaches who bring their ukes along. And in the glimmer of the moonlight they love to sing this song. If you like a ukulele lady, ukulele lady like you. If you love to linger where it's shady, ukulele lady linger too. If you kiss a ukulele lady, why you promise ever to be true? And she sees another ukulele lady fool around with you. Maybe she'll cry, maybe she'll sigh, maybe she'll find somebody else by and by to sing to when it's cool and shady, where the tricky wicky wack is woo woo woo, and you like a ukulele lady, a ukulele lady like you. Someday I'm going where eyes are glowing and lips are made to kiss To see the glimmer of the moonlight and hear that song I miss If you like a ukulele lady, a ukulele lady like a you If you love to linger where it's shady, a ukulele lady linger too if you kiss a ukulele lady, why you promise ever to be true? And she sees a ukulele lady, lady fooling around with you. Maybe she'll cry, maybe she'll sigh, maybe she'll find somebody else by and Bye to sing to where it's cool and shady, where the tricky wicky whack is woo woo woo. If you love a ukulele lady, ukulele lady likes you like me, like I like you. We like them both the same. I'd like to say this very day. Ukulele lady like a you, you, you. <laughs> I have done a little uh, Hawaiian lick that I've done before in these videos over here. Check out my Hapa Haole playlist. But I've moved it up here to the key of C and it is like this. I'm just going to play it the once. That's a C chord. Hey, you're still here. That's fantastic. So I hope you've got all the chords and the strumming pattern down and I really hope you enjoy playing this classic ukulele tune. Thank you so much again to Karen Atwood for suggesting this one. I think it's a great idea. Thank you so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end of the video. I love it. YouTube loves it. Gold star for you. See you in the next one. For now's the time To close your